Hey guys, I'm back. I am bringing, again, very quickly, well not so quickly, some more Ridge Racer Unbounded. Hopefully this is going to record this time, so this is my third attempt. Uh, Premier crashed on me the first two times for some reason. And I'm going to be showing you sort of the three different event types that I've tried in uh, in this game. And actually there's a fourth event type I've played, but I haven't got a video of it. So here we got Public Menace, which is a frag attack. And uh, this is pretty much everyone's dream, I, I guess, anyone who's ever been pulled over. You're in a big truck, and uh, your job is to destroy as many police cars as you can. Boom, boom. Don't actually get very many, you only get sort of 10% of the points you'd normally get for all the, doing all these frags, but then again, maybe it's because it's just too easy. Boom. Too many targets, and you're faster than all of them. Oh, and you're bigger. You don't even have to boost to easily take one out, but it helps. You get power really easily, look. Just regenerates. Well, I caused some damage there, but it didn't take him. Boom. Boom, boom. I just start skipping them now, just the cameras, just because. It's too easy. Too easy. Didn't even see what this one, what happened there. And, uh, yeah, so I've got some video, I've got co another couple of clips after this one to show you. Um, so, stick around for those, unless you really hate me. Um, as you can see, I really am sort of serious about... Doing PC live streaming's pretty easy, doing PS3 live streaming's a bit of a hassle, because I have to sort of move around to make it all work. So it's easier to record PS3 and upload it later than it is to do it live, but at the same time, I like the audience interaction of live, and I like how I can do a sort of a bigger variation of things with live, because people won't, I don't know, people are less prone to complain. You also, I don't want to put it this way, I don't want to say I can be lazy, but people's expectations of, qu of video quality, audio quality, uh, voiceover quality and so on, they're just so much lower when it comes to life than it is on YouTube, so I really have to work at what I say here if I'm actually struggling to make sure I say things that actually are a good use of the limited time I've got. Because obviously I've pre-composed the video and now I've got to say things to fill it all up, but not to overrun. Now as you can see there, I did uh, 15 frags, destroyed 15 police cars, which got me 2 stars, or it's known as completion level. I don't know if you get one star, it's passed, and I think three stars might be an act, might be mastered. So that's 10,000 XP plus uh, 2,154 frags and uh, awards. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, 1,194 frags, 2,154 awards. So it gives me 13,340 XP, which is actually what matters in Ridge Racer. In this game, it's actually about how many points you earn during an event, not how well you do. If that makes sense. You don't actually have to pass the event to move forwards, you just have to get a lot of points. So yeah, well, I've basically the reason I've been doing so much live work is just because I can sort of try things out more, and it's a bit quicker, and I can, I can do, I can produce lots of different things, and people won't complain. Don't seem to be so ready to complain. You know, I've not really had any complaints. So here we are doing a um, drift event where, basically, this is a drift attack. You've got 30 seconds on the clock, and you have to do as much drifting as you can in the next 30 seconds. Whoa! So. So every 10 points you earn for drifting gives you an extra second on the clock, that's pretty easy to do, see that's 50 points, or that's 60 points, and that's 60, that's 6 seconds, there's another 6 seconds, you can see it's pretty easy, you get a point for about, for about every sort of, well I'd say every, well, I want, I think it's like every 5 meters or 2 or 5 meters, it's a couple of meters. Of drifting at a decent angle and speed. I don't, I don't think the angle and speed actually matter, I think it's just distance. So that's why I can get, you know, five seconds here, five seconds everywhere. I even, as you'll see once I come around after this corner, I think it's 
this, that's quite a big one, seven seconds. Um, you gotta try and you do need to slow down a bit for the drifts, otherwise you'll end up hitting the edge on the outer wall. And the flares indicate that I've done a full lap of the circuit. So you can see I'm drifting along the straight now because I can earn. Because it's so easy to earn drift, because it's so easy to drift because you just hold a button and turn. You can easily just earn lots of time. It's very hard to oversteer in this game unless you're going too fast. If you're not going very fast, you just don't oversteer. So I'm trying to build up to 1200 points, get the three stars, and to, um, as you'll see just after this nice cor that rather fetty corner thing there, but I don't do it. T 1020 points, and that's two stars. But that's how it is. But I do at least get award points for um, doing long drifts and going at high speed and so on like that. There you go. Drifting very high. 5,103 points for drifting, so that's 15,703 XP. Okay, and here we're just going to move on to this last event, which is Domination Race Type, most common type I've seen so far, Fight or Die. And uh, this one's basically race around, try and be first across the line whilst also smashing as much stuff as possible. Principal cars again, uh, power, back and play. And I think, oh, oh, what? And we catch them air in the most unusual way possible. I think you'll agree. So here we have a truck ready to explode. Boom. So yeah, I'm last. I don't come anywhere near the front. Of in this race, but I just thought it was a good clip to show, just because of all the destructiveness I, I bring upon. And whoa! I mean, I have some more clips. I'm not sure if I'll share them or not. I don't know if I have as much I can more I can really say on this game. I mean, you know, awards for drift frags, awards for smashing stuff up. We, you know, it's kind of this game's a lot of fun. It's a big hoot. Especially if you like this very arcadey racer, you know, where the only thing that's realistic is the fact that it's on planet Earth and it's with cars that are powered by petroleum. Other than that, it is practically a complete fantasy. See, so just blow things up, crash through just about anything that's not a building. That's basically the rule in this game. If it isn't all, if it isn't the wall, if it isn't a wall, you can go through it. Um, I think here I do a pretty bad drift. Oh, no, yeah, I don't even drift properly there. And I try to round this guy, and as you can see, he powers away, and as I am doing that, that means I basically frag myself. I just gave him a frag out. So he's now my rival. Um, now the reason I did that strange airborne flip the first time was because I didn't see the stairs, and again, I didn't see them, so I ended up doing this little number. And that makes me fall back into ninth position, well, tenth position, but I eventually pull up ninth um, at the end of the race. Bit of a spoiler there. So yeah, would I recommend this game? Um, if you like this kind of game, you'll probably like this game. If you, if you, you know what I mean. If you like the kind of arcadey racer, you'll like this probably. Um, I certainly do recommend giving it a look. At least watching some more videos of it or something. See, just reading reviews, seeing if it's for you. Certainly a well-made game. I haven't noticed any problems with it, apart from the online doesn't seem to work for me. I'm not quite sure why it just says it couldn't connect. It's got a fantastic level editor, and the levels in this game are sort of modular blocks, city blocks. So it means although you'll see the same sort of assets again and again, nightclubs, explosive trucks, on the bridges, blah blah blah. Although you'll see those things again and again, somehow the different layout different ordering and placement of them and different usage of different styles of them and the variations of just sort of it always seems fresh even though you know it isn't somehow and obviously from all the time of day and stuff it's all pretty dynamic and I do love how they've got you know all these texts written up you know on here so yeah as you can see I'm on the second to last lap and um, this time we'll see if I can I don't think that yeah I hit just missed the wall, that's a pretty good trip actually. And yeah, here's another target concrete trailer. Bam, explode, car, destroy. All that good explosive stuff. So yeah, I, do, I 
definitely would recommend just giving this game a bit of a look. Um, as for buying it, I mean, I, I would buy it if I could afford it, maybe, possibly. Not sure, but I can't afford it, as you know. As I'll say repeatedly, I can only really afford to buy the games that I can either get for cheap or the ones that I really love. So, I mean, um, I'll be live streaming a lot of PS3 actually in the near future. Check out for the. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, June the 29th. I'll be um, streaming Ratchet and Clank Classic Trilogy, sort of all day, um, and recording it and probably uploading it with some sort of. I don't know. I don't know, I'll probably be recording it as well as streaming it, um, and I'll export that all to YouTube. So I'm going to play through the entire trilogy, sort of as, sort of foot giving a full completion, giving it, trying to get each game 100%, without going through the challenge mode, not bringing all the weapons, especially on uh, the second and third games, just because that takes a lot of usage of each weapon. Some of the weapons I find really useless. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching this video uh, just before we uh, head off around to the finish. And um, yeah, if you'd like to check out my Ratchet and Clank stream, I'll be doing in a couple of weeks from now. Uh, just uh, check out my Twitch page at twitch.tv forward slash Takuma Katakari. And you can subscribe to more videos on YouTube, uh, including all of the Ratchet and Clank streaming at uh, youtube.com forward slash Takuma Katakari. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching, do watch again, subscribe, favourite, share, remix my videos, do what you want. Um, so yeah, it's been great fun playing this game and great fun being back on YouTube, so uh, hope to see you again soon and uh, let's take a look at the awards and uh, I'll leave you with the awards and uh, a fair, a, fa a fond farewell from me to Kuma Katakari. See you soon.